The Science Policy Boot Camp, organized by Sigma Xi, was designed to inspire and educate scientists and engineers who want their work to have relevance in the science policy environment. So by bringing them together for this real crash course of science policy over a four-day period, they're able to learn the basics, the fundamentals of North Carolina government, and how the culture of science policy differs from the culture of uh, the academic world where many of them come from. It's really for anybody who's looking to make a difference in an area that they're super passionate about. So whether that's urban heat islands or climate change or it's flooding in your community, anything that you're passionate about that has a scientific component is going to be covered in the boot camp. And it's really about moving from having an idea, knowing that something needs to change, and being able to get into action. We've organized a series of lectureships, panel discussions, breakout sessions and field trips that expose the scientists and engineers who attend this event to all the aspects of the state government. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, the panel called um, Science Policy in the Courts because it was a perspective I had never heard before. I didn't know how scientists could serve uh, in the judicial system through um, amicus briefs and acting as expert witnesses and testimony. Um, I've called ornithologists before, people who study birds, geologists, um, entomologists, just all sorts of different realms of science. And so um, I think I can speak to you a little bit today about sort of the interaction between science and the, the courtroom. Then he goes back to the chamber of origin and they say, okay, here's the bill back. Here's what the other chamber did to it. Are you cool with that? If you're cool, you pass it, thumbs up, send it to the governor. If you're not cool, you send it to a conference committee. And then each chamber appoints conferees and you sit down and you work out the differences in the bill. When we were working our way through the energy bill last year, we needed a lot of help from scientists, from engineers, from folks who, who share information. So you are critical in helping us make a lot of these decisions. Those activities culminate on the last day with a hackathon, a science policy hackathon, where they apply all the knowledge they've gained throughout the week to developing an actual policy solution that they can carry forward through their expertise and through engaging and applying some of the lessons they've learned. But welcome to day four, the final day you've made it to the science policy hackathon. Our main overarching research question is, how does the tax lien system impact small businesses in North Carolina? And in 2019, Hank had an idea. He wanted to start a solar energy company in North Carolina. And not only are you gonna to get to experience and network with people, you're gonna get an experience and understand where this stuff happens. You'll get to tour the Supreme Court, understand its history, how it came to be, where it is. You'll get to tour the, the legislature and understand the House and the Senate, what's different, what's the same. Um, you'll get to actually see the chambers. Uh, you'll also get to tour downtown Raleigh, where a lot of the executive agencies are, and also some of the innovation ecosystem around the city. So we'll be in the Research Triangle Park at the Frontier Building. We worked at the North Carolina Biotech Center um, to really experience places that are working on policy and give you not only the, the social connections, but the connections to the physical spaces that are a part of the policy system. So the Burroughs Welcome Fund, without them, this wouldn't be possible. The Office of Strategic Partnerships, Working with the North Carolina Biotech Center, Sigma Xi, of course, has been doing this for a couple years now and is instrumental in making sure that this program continues to exist. But we also wouldn't be able to do it without the speakers that we were able to have. They provided their time and their network and they were open to engaging with you after the, the event, um, as well as, of course, the staff at Sigma Xi who made this all possible.